Today we're gonna to go over all the mods I've made to this 52 reissue Telecaster from Fender. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel folks, my name's Shane. So today I'm gonna to cover all the different mods I've made to this particular guitar. Now over the years I've had so many questions and so many people commenting on the pickups and what they think they are. I know a lot of people who are regular subscribers will know exactly what's going on here, but I still see questions come up time and time again. I actually got sent a message saying, could you please do a video covering all the aspects of this particular guitar? And I thought that's a great idea for a video, so let's get into it. So this is my 52 reissue Telecaster from Fender. I purchased this at H Street Music in San Francisco a number of years back, and when I first bought it, it had vintage frets, and they were already very, very short in terms of their height, and they were also quite soft in terms of their material. So once I wore those down in a couple of years of just playing this pretty much nonstop, I ended up having to put different frets in and I opted for these 6105 stainless steel frets. I got these because not only Dr. Rick said they were good and he puts them in his whenever they need a refret. Another good friend of mine, Brian, also suggested getting these ones because they feel great on a fender. So I put them in and they'll never wear out or if they do, it's gonna take probably 10 or 15 times longer. So 6105 stainless steel frets are definitely a great upgrade for a guitar with vintage frets. Over to the pickups. Now the regular subscribers will know exactly what these are. These are Joe Barton, Danny Gatton pickups. They're good enough for Danny Gatton, who is a monster. They're probably way too good for me, but they sound great. I've experimented with pickups in this guitar a few times now, and I always come back to the Joe Biden, Danny Gatton pickups. And no, not Joe Biden, the politician, Biden. <laughs> All right, so this neck pickup is the best tally neck pickup I've played. It's low output as well. These are basically, in terms of their output, they're about 5K ohms or something like that. So they're not a very hot pickup at all which is why a lot of people will say these are the best noiseless pickups out there. They're not an overwound kind of sound. This is the modern bridge, but it's still not that hot in comparison to even some single coils out there. So in terms of what these do, they're nice and chimey, nice and bright, without getting too ice picky, no buzz, and they hold, if you want to throw distortion at them, it holds distortion extremely well. Overall, these pickups have been out twice and back twice in about 10 years. So yeah, I love these pickups. They've been in here now for quite some time. I don't plan on ever taking them out again, unless I get experimental, but nah, I think I'm pretty much sorted. One of the other mods I made on this particular guitar was changing up the volume and also the tone controls. Now I did this out of necessity. Both of them got to a point where, I don't know, it must've just been through use where if I had it on a certain point, it would just squeal. And I checked the wiring, the wiring was fine. I replaced the pots and it sorted that out. So I use Emerson Pro Pots, 250K own ones as well. You can use 500s with these particular Joe Barton pickups, but I didn't really feel like I had to. Dr. Rick, my friend had these pickups in his tally as well, or a different set, but the same Joe Barton, Danny Gatton ones, the 250s were plenty bright. So yeah, these are uh, Emerson Pro Pots are definitely the way to go. Not sponsored by them or anything. I actually bought them for this guitar and they've been fine since I put them in. Back in November of 2014, I had a company called Rock Rabbit reach out to me and they sent me this angled Telecaster plate. And this is one of those things that I didn't really know about up until getting this in my hands and giving it a go. But having the switch on an angle makes actually switching just that little bit easier. And I find, especially from bridge going back forwards, it's just that little bit easier to get there instead of having it right up against the volume control. I think this is a really smart mod and it's something that I've used for, for since I've actually had it now and I love it. So I guess five over five years or so. Now this is made out of aluminium, which has been recycled from um, airplanes, which I thought was pretty sweet. So these recycled materials, and that's awesome as well. If you're interested in one of these, links will be in the description below. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things you'll notice if you look at this guitar is the fact there's a lot of dark stains on the finish. There's also a lot of areas, especially down the bottom here, where there's some black lines and marks. All of this is just through use. None of this was enhanced relicking or anything like that. Unlike my Harley Benton relic video that I did last December, which obviously gets mixed results depending on your personality. So yeah, overall, this has just been played to death over the years. I haven't been playing it as much in the last couple of years because I've been kind of going through a different phase with different guitars, the PRSSE, the Flying V as well, most recently, the Little Crow guitars. But I still always come back to this and I smile when I play it. It's a great guitar, it means a lot to me, this one. It's got a bit of sentimental attachment as well as I bought it while I had a great trip overseas many years ago as well. But the mods not only came through necessity, but also coming through what I thought felt better to play. And to my ear, these Joe Barton pickups are some of the best tally sounding pickups out there without the buzz. I've had the Fender ones, I've had all kinds of noiseless pickups over the years, the D. Allens as well. These are definitely the best for this particular guitar for what suits my sound. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.